Hello YouTube. This is not uh, this is not for my subscribers. This is uh for some of the friends that I some of the YouTube friends that I uh constantly talk to. Um doesn't make them any less important, doesn't make them any more important. Nor does me. Um uh, I was filming a, a protest yesterday. I'm just about to take this camera back to Can TV. Um, the protest was 9/11 uh, was an inside job, an anti-war protest. It was an anti-Obama protest. It was, it was a protest that uh, a Democrat uh, used to uh, to say how he's for the people and. I think there was a Republican there too, but um, or vice versa. But uh, I filmed the march and protest and, and some of the speeches, which um will be put on will be put on this uh, YouTube channel for a little while, but not until I get it edited and uh, Can TV. Uh, has its three month wait before anything gets put on. I may sneak in uh, uh, some clips of it. But this is just basically a channel for comedy, because uh, all this, all these protesters and activists and truth seekers and roosters and they're getting their accounts shut down. And um, not that I really care about mine, but um, yeah, we're in some we're in some hard times. I'm here today to say that no, we are not going to be good Americans and all come together under with national unity while our country is carrying out these war crimes. We're not with it. And we support the troops who are refusing to go along with it. We support the troops who refuse to fight. We support the troops who resist and speak out. And we demand that they be allowed to resist and to refuse to fight. And we defend them. Well, anyways... At this protest, um, there was um, some weird things that were going on. The protest was all right. The protest was very peaceful and very informative, and thing went off without a hitch. the The problem that I have is my footage in certain places didn't take. Um, they, it, something was interfering with it, or, like, for instance, and I've actually tried it this morning, I tried going on it this morning and reshoot some, um, some symbolism, some Nazi swat stickers and some pegging gods that are on, on, on top of the bank or top of the financial building, the trade center, the, uh, the, 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 the peggings, the, well, they're, the Statue of Liberties, uh, but uh, they're not dressed up like the Statue of Liberty. Maybe she's wearing her crown. But um, filming a little bit of the Federal Reserve and how the next, how the bank next to it, which is basically designed and and looks like the Federal Reserve, um, has a Nazi SWAT sticker, and uh, it's talking to the officers and pointing out that they didn't know about that they but they were looking at it and uh, yeah and uh, they were wanting to research it and well, and that's great god bless them and i'm talking about number the one god up there not demonic demons and uh, bohemian grove 
owls or Moloch or Monarch or who, whatever the these gods are called. I don't know. I don't really study them that much. Not really into satanic. But um, yeah, some of the foot the footage that I was filming right around the Federal Reserve wiped clean. I mean, it's just not usable. It's something was interfering with it, and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty wild. But um, some of the footage that uh, I took at the protest didn't take either. So I got to turn this camera back into a can TV and uh, got to wait the three months before I could put anything that I filmed with this camera besides this on my YouTube channel. Um, but I'll see if I can sneak in a couple clips of the protest or something like that. No more war in the Middle East. We want justice. We want peace. No more war in the Middle East. We want justice. We want peace. No more war in the Middle East. We want peace. No more war in the Middle East. We want, we want justice, we want peace, no more war in the Middle East. We want justice, we want peace, no more war in the Middle East. We want justice, we want peace, no more war in the Middle East. Have a good day. Be aware. Look out what's going on. The truth will set you free. Or at least I hope it does. The Bush administration announced that Al-Qaeda was responsible for the attacks. This assertion was made prior to the conduct of an in-depth investigation by the FBI. The decision to go to war was made without the U.S. Department of Justice and any FBI link between Osama bin Laden, Al-Qaeda, and the attacks. On September 20th, 2001, the Taliban government offered to hand Osama bin Laden to a neutral Islamic country for trial if the U.S. presented them with any evidence that he was responsible for the attacks. This offer was repeated by the Taliban government on October 1st of 2001. Quote, we are ready for negotiations. It is up to the other side to agree or not. Only negotiations will solve our problems, end quote. When asked about this offer at a press conference the following day, Bush replied, There's no negotiations. There's no calendar. We'll act on our time. Six days later, the bombing began in Afghanistan. Oh, I'm gonna get sad again.